Hello guys, welcome to HDB Presents Tech View. Another episode. Uh, in this episode, I will show you one interesting things. Um, it's a kind of troubleshooting. Troubleshooting means like whenever you run a base center in your environment, um, maybe you can face this kind of issues like your base center disk space is full. Your base center actually is not gonna. If you don't have any monitoring system, it's not gonna alert you. But you gonna see the performance. Base center performance gonna be very slow. It's very slow. Sometimes you are not able to log in. Whenever you try provide your password and uh, username and password, everything, and after that it was just start spinning. It was it, it will not be. It will not uh, let you to log in, but it's just spinning. So in that case, what you can do? So. It, so this is the one symptom of your disk drive full, right? Your disk drive may be full. So how we can check it? Um, I'll show you step by step. Okay. So if uh, if you have a vCenter, so what you can do? First, you have to log into your vCenter server appliance. You have to log into your vCenter server appliance. So your vCenter server appliance. So you are not, I, I'm able to log in here. If you can log in here, that's fine. You can do from the vCenter web point. Or if you cannot log in to vCenter, it's just spinning. It's not let you log in. In that case, the first thing is you have to log into your, you have to log into your, um, uh, vCenter server appliance, and then go to the monitor, and then go to the disk. And uh, and it's gonna show you what's the di like disk utilization. So minus is everything is okay, no problem right now. But just to show you as a demonstration, think about this drive or maybe the other drive, whatever the drive is showing you full. So most of the case it shows the log file is full or archive folder is full, maybe log folder is full. Full means like ninety percent utilization or ninety three percent utilization. In that case, you cannot log in. You will get the interface, but you will not be able to log in. So think about this is the case. So I know based on this, if I check from the server appliance management, I will be able to see which disk drive has the issue, right? So think about right now, hard disk number one has the issue. It's forty five percent utilization. Think about this is ninety percent utilization. But in, but right now actually it's forty five percent utilization. And how much space we have here? We have total 10.6 gig. So I'm gonna add another 10 gig here. Uh, we're gonna make it a 20, 20 gig. And I want to show you actually how you can do that. So this is the first option you can check from the business server appliance. From the business server appliance. Business server, how are we gonna log into the business server appliance? Your business server name or uh, IP address or FKDN, then colon 5480, which is port number of your business server appliance and then use the root pass uh, username as a root and then root password. So it, that's how you'll be able to log in there, right? So you know right now, what is your problem? You need to increase the disk. Now, how you can increase the disk? So vCenter server itself is a virtual machine. So where you, um, which ESXi host is holding this ES, um, virtual machine, you have to log in there. So in, in my case, I know where is my vCenter um, server. So I'm logging that ESXA host. I'm just showing a scenario, like maybe you are not able to, log. I able to log in because I don't have any issues, but I'm just showing you have a problem. You're not able to log in vCenter. If you're able to log in vCenter, then you can easily find out where is your VM is, right? Where is your, this is this is the appliance machine because I logged into the vCenter right now. But in your case, I'm saying you are not able to log into the vCenter. So you, you need to go to the ESX host where this vCenter is hosted. You see here, if I click here, it shows assist ESX 02. So in 02 is here, I logged in here. So if you go here, like on virtual machines, you're gonna see this is the this is the appliance virtual machine, right? This is the server appliance virtual machine. So right click on it and then go to the edit settings. 
and then it will show you multiple disks. But if right now it's showing you one, two, three, four, and another show next 10 hard disk, go. Then it's gonna show you all. You see, now I show you all up to 13. So which one you need to increase? It depends on you, depends on your problem. So right now, my problem is here. I have total 12 GB assigned. Right now I wanna add um, 10 more, 10 more gig space. That means instead of 22, I'm going to put 20, uh, so there are 12, I'm going to put 22. That means I add 10 more gigs with this number one and just save it. So that's it, that's it. So I just added more space to my B center, uh, one of the desk of my B center. Same thing, whenever you add an extra disk or increase the disk on a Windows machine, so you have to do it on the virtual machine side. So on, on, the, on, on the virtual machine level, you increase the disk, but inside the machine, it's not actually assigned yet. So what do you have to do? So it's not finished yet, maybe. Just refresh. Okay. Okay, it's completed. So I just increase it, but it's not assigned inside the appliance machine. So how are you gonna increase it? How are you gonna increase? So the same process. What do you have to do? You have to log in. I'm going to close out this one. You have to log into the party session. And also make sure before you do the party session, make sure your access here, everything is enabled. So mine is already enabled. Uh, so it, it's a, some, it, it's gonna be like this, but you have to enable like this and assign some uh, minutes, say 100 minutes, okay? Click okay. So everything is enabled. Now I'm going to do the party session. So I know my IP address of my B center, 19, and root and the password. But this password not gonna show you anything here on the screen, but make sure you send the right password and hit enter. And then you see a command shell. You have to type the shell, okay? S-H-E-L-L, okay. Now, you can run some command, actually one command, two command actually. This is the command, if you want to check which disk has what, you see here, um, if you go to the appliance, monitor, disk, and we are trying to increase this one, right? This is, your partition name is root, right? Your partition name is root. So that's what we are trying to increase. And currently it's 45%. So after we increase, it's gonna be less than 45, we're gonna be 35 or 30 something, or, or less than that. Actually it's less than that. So let's see. In here, you see the term boot, okay. Size of the disk, you see? I think this is the drive. Which one has 12 G, 12 gig or 11 gig? So most probably used, how much is used? It shows 45 percent. I'm not. I'm, I'm not seeing here 45 percent used. So I have only one data which is shows uh, 48 percent. So it seems like this is the one. This is the one. Just remember. So this is the drive we are going to. So we already increased on the BM level, appliance BM level. Now we are going to utilize it. Right, we are, we are going to actually assign it in the machine level, inside the machine. 
we are going to claim it. So how are we gonna claim it? This is the command you just need to run. So it's gonna be auto automatically if if it is found any uh, extra space is gonna be auto like through this command is gonna be automatically assigned. So copy this one and run this command here. Hit enter and it will take a little bit time. Whenever it is done. All right, it's done, right? Then run again this command to check the disk. This is the only command for just check the disk. So I'm going to check the disk here, hit enter. Now you can, this one see how much it shows. Before it was 11 gig and it was, it was showing 48%, now it's 25%. That means successfully increase. Then also we can see the proof here now 45%, right? So I'm going to just, I think I have to restart it or maybe I can try the refresh, refresh. It takes, sometimes it takes a little bit time. Okay, it's not, it's not updated yet. Or let's do one thing, just log out from here. Reload, oh, log back in again. If it is not, then we have to, okay, this year, it's changed, right? Now it's, before it was 48%, now it's 23.4% and so it increased. So this is how you can increase the vCenter disk space. And that's all, that's all, nothing else. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And also, if you think this video is helpful for you, please don't forget to make some comments because your comments make me more uh, like uh, encourage me a lot to make more videos for you guys. Thank you again. And I'll see you maybe another video.